Yo, what is up, everybody? This is Jumpin' here, and today this is going to be episode 17 to my Fun With Guns series, where you pick the gun and I play with it, and I tell you what I think about it. Now, unfortunately, for this episode, it's going to be the Alkalite, but what was voted for was the Particle Rifle. Guys, I do not have the Particle Rifle. I do not have the Typhoon. Those are the only two guns in the game as of right now that I just do not have, so keep that in mind. Now, for this, I'm going to be using a Hornet as a backup. This is just for armor targets, um, that's really it, and it's pretty garbage in general, but I was trying it out. Now for the actual gun, the Alkalite. This gun is honestly really good if you use it right. People are, are hating on this gun, but I definitely recommend the extended magazine and the extended barrel. That's the only two attachments that you really need for this. Now for the build. The build is actually really cool and unique, and you guys are going to love this. This is going to be a pool charge build, and it's amazing. First, it's going to be radius. That's pretty normal. Then power synergy. Now, here's the thing. If I could redo this, I think I might go for weapon synergy. I don't really know. The, the, the power synergy really is not necessary. Without the grenades, you really don't really need this, to be honest. Uh, you don't charge that often either. To be, uh, even though he is a vanguard, he's not your normal vanguard to charge every five seconds. He's just too flimsy. He's more about setting up combos. But definitely go for barriers just so you can get all your barriers back and try to stay alive as best you can. Now for the actual, um, now for the pool. Pool has been buffed to be unbelievable. I mean, it is unbelievable. Um, first off, yeah, radius, guys. 2.5 meters, really good. Now, this might bother some of you guys. Um, I recommend Exposed if you're going to go for uh, better explosions. Also, for maybe an adapt team if you got some people to play with, this is really, really good. But some people out there, I know how they are. You might not. I recommend then. I recommend this for your team. And some people care about this. This will get a lot of your kills stolen, to be honest. And not only that, but it can mess you up um, when you're trying to set up explosions because it is just 30% more damage. The lift damage is kind of nice too. But the 30%, I mean, anything that your teammates hit, uh, hit a lifted target with will kill it. So you just got to keep that in mind. Um, it, it can mess you up, and it can be a little annoying when your teammates are just stealing all your pool kills. And it, it's whatever. But the 100 damage is nice. Now for, the, now for the final one, duration and combo. Definitely go for this. This is now the strongest explosion in the game, 75%. It is crazy. With the combination of expose and this, you will kill anything you pull and then explode. Like, literally. Anything on any difficulty, if you can pull it up, it's dead. It's just that simple. And the duration is nice as well. It pulls it up to uh, 8 seconds. So that's pretty cool. Now for the Drill Assassin. Definitely damage capacity. That's all you need. Power damage, um, obviously. And then finally, weapons damage. Now, I do recommend this just to make your Alkali pistol a little bit stronger. And then finally, for your fitness, all shields. The movement speed is nice. And I wouldn't recommend meleeing with this guy. I know some of you guys like to, but for gold, meleeing is normally not a good idea. I think a lot of people know that. And yeah. All right, now for the equipment. Um, Cryo Rounds 4. This is unbelievable. Wait till you see this in the gameplay. Pistol rail on three. This really will help the gun. Like it, this gun is actually very powerful. And then also stronghold package five, just for extra shields. Definitely kind of recommend that. And then I do recommend power efficiency modulator. Uh, the efficiency, just because it is, it will lower the time of your combo, and that kind of can be important. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the gameplay now. Now the other armor things I would recommend it may be power ramp maybe a drill in and shield power cells maybe or even just cyclonic modulator cyclonic modulator just feels like a waste on him his starting barriers are so low his base is so low that the boost is just not that much but they do help you it will help you stay alive honestly because I mean this guy is it's just the most squishy dude in the game he's so squishy and guys, if you're gonna try this build, I have another build for you too. I will talk about it, and I will. I'm I'm willing to do the gameplay and the build and all that good stuff. But you gotta remember, if you're gonna try this, honestly, guys, do this on host. Do not attempt this off host. You will Vanguard glitch. It's that simple. This guy's just too squishy. It's that simple. All right. Anyway, now the way you're gonna want to play with this, it's just really amazing. Now I know this is fun with guns. This is all about the guns, but no. This is more about this build than anything else. Um, 
pool now is amazing. Um, I've always been 100% against pool. I think pool is really stupid. It doesn't work against Reapers, guys. And this build does not work well against Reapers. I mean, literally, I would just avoid Reapers at all costs. If you're going to play any faction, play against Cerberus. It's that simple. They're the best people in the game to do this on. It's just a lot of fun to fight like this against Cerberus. Geth, not so much as well, just because a lot of them you can pull. But there's also the Pyros and the Primes, which you can't pull. And you just got to keep that in mind. And also, they do so much extreme damage to you so quickly. Like, this Drell is just going to get obliterated by Geth. So just try to keep all that stuff in mind. But as you can see, this just works so effective. The way you play with it is very simple. You charge up the gun. You see a, you see a bad guy. And you hit him. You hit him with the charged up shot, and you take all his shields down one hit. It's a guarantee. This gun gets, I think, a plus 300%. 300% to shields. And I believe its damage was like 800 damage. So that's really crazy. When you do all the math, Like you're just guaranteed on any difficulty to take down the shields of every enemy, including, guess what, guys? phantoms you can one hit the shield of a phantom making them literally useless like you once their barrier is gone and you pull them they're dead it's that simple or you can just charge them so this build is extremely effective like i said um it's a lot of fun to play honestly like i had i had a blast playing with this build i mean it will make it rage a little bit just because he's so flimsy but if you don't care about that it's whatever now if you guys don't know what i'm doing as well it's really amazing and awesome but if you don't know you can actually get cryo explosions and fire explosions with your actual biotic explosion um, that's just what it is you can actually get like the combination of two explosions at once and the way you really want to do that is that if you're fighting someone with like health or if you can set them up by hitting them once with this pistol once they're down to their health that will freeze them once they're frozen and you actually blow them up from the charge in the pool once you actually get the legit explosion, you'll get a double explosion, and you'll just freaking wreck everything around you. Uh, you can do this with incinerator ammo as well. Only downside is the DPS is so high. But the, honestly, that's another thing. If you wanted to try something a little bit different, that's actually really cool. And that guy's going to dance right there. But if you want to try something that's really, really cool, you can also go with the opposite, which, which I told you about the lift damage. The lift damage is also really cool because if you combine this gun... If you combine the Alkalite Pistol with Incinerary Rounds 3 or 4, probably 4 would be the best way to go. With that lift damage, your DPS is, I swear to you, crazy. Because you got to think, once the shield is totally down, you're just going to be eating away at health. And, and if you pull them up in the air, you're going to be just doing a massive amount of damage. So that's another way you can build this guy. Like I said, if for your team and kind of for yourself, the Expose is nice. The only downside is your teammates can easily just steal a lot of your kills. And unless you tell like your, your, your friends or your teammates or whoever they are, like, guys, if you see someone pulled, can you please not kill them? Because honestly, it can screw you. Like when, you, you, you know, when you're doing this, you want to get the explosions. It's a better way to go. You're going to have a lot of AoE. You're going to be able to do a massive amount of damage and just kill a lot of enemies in a general area. The downside, like I said, is that if people are running around with like things like ballistic blade, proxy mine, they'll they'll literally just steal all your lifted target kills, and it can screw you as well because of course you know what can happen, guys. Guess what? You don't have no one to charge. Like you're about to die. He's so flimsy. You don't have no one to charge, and then if someone steals your kill, you are screwed. It's just what it is. So that is a couple things you got to keep in mind about this build. Um, is if you play with certain people you might want to consider building it the other way which I said it would be the lifted damage and the incinerary rounds because it is insane amount of DPS that you can have on this you don't actually have to like you shoot them once you pull them and you just run away you don't need to charge or nothing you can charge to get your shield back and do some explosions but you don't need to do the explosions to get kills it's pretty crazy and it's really fun so try that as well now the other build I have for this is a lot safer it is a lot safer. It is an Asari Justicar build, kind of like this with Pool and Reef, or maybe with Spear. I don't really know yet. I've been tweaking it, but if you guys want to see that, like I said, if that would be a build you can try like this off host, I highly recommend to be host just so you cannot Vanguard glitch. Um, 
because that's the worst thing that can happen to you. And with like Adrell, well, guess what, guys? That's definitely going to happen to you. Uh, and the Sorry Justicar is really cool in general because of her duration bonuses, they stay lifted longer. So you could do some really cool and crazy stuff with that as well. Um, and Reeve is just a good power. I mean, she's more tanky. She gets 40% damage protection. She has a lot higher sh base shields with a cyclonic modulator. She can stay alive really easily. So that's a couple things to think about. Let me know if you want to see that build in gameplay. I will definitely do that. I might actually do the lifted incinerary uh, route as well in a gameplay like that. If you want to see how that works, because I'm telling you, it works. It 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 is it works amazing. You don't even need to do explosions. The reeve would be more for just getting your shield back, um, in general. Or uh, we're well, not getting your shield back, but just getting you damage protection, and that would be pretty much it. And doing some explosions, uh, and also setting up explosions for your teammates if you're gonna do an add that team, because reeve is an amazing power for that. All right. Now let me go ahead and get into the gameplay. Like I said, just leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see anything like that. And try to remember about the other way you can build this guy. It's also very effective. It just really depends. Like I said, you're going to consistently, when I'm fighting, I, all right, here's going to be a phantom. Check this out. I mean, that's how easy it is. Now that wasn't even, I didn't even pull her, but you don't have to. You can just, if you feel like you have to charge, just charge her. It's that simple. You'll knock her down and then you can just shoot her on the ground. The Alkalite pistol gets so much hate. I've heard every person, like, well, not every person, but I've heard a lot of people who do, like, gameplay commentaries for Mass Effect say that this is just the point, most pointless gun in the game, and it's really stupid, blah, 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 and I've heard all my friends tell me, oh, I've tried the Alkalite, it was so bad. I didn't even want to attempt this gun, honestly, and I, I'm, I always do that. I don't know why. A lot of people always tell me certain things and then I I kinda just go off of them now right here I was raging oh this gun and the two guns I have just cannot do enough damage honestly to kill that turret and turrets will screw you as the drill it's that simple so like I just need to get the hell out of this position um and this map this London map is actually really good about this this is one thing I really like about this map is that there's a lot of like cover you can just kinda like never run through the middle of this map guys that's the best tip ever play this like call of duty if you run through the middle you're gonna die stay on the outskirts if you're gonna run around definitely stay on the outskirts there's a billion times more cover this way um and that's just the best way to go about playing it and and and, and playing the map so but yeah this alkali pistol like i said it's just been it's just been like amazing to me how much hate it gets i think everyone hates on this gun but honestly with this new pool update this is i don't know was i don't think this is what bioware was thinking but at the same time, it might have been because this is the best combination now. Uh, not the best combination, but this is an amazing combination now in the game. Alkalite and pool. It's just that simple. Um, pool's a power that is just so like, ugh, like, I don't know. Like, I've always hated pool because on gold, in general, it just, it, it just doesn't work good because everybody has shields. If every enemy you come across have shields, pool is very useless. But with this pistol... You don't have to worry about shields at all. You don't have to worry about shields. So, guys, Alkalite Pistol is not that bad. I mean, it's it's not the greatest gun in the game. It's not. I think the problem is that people don't like charge-up guns. I hate charge-up guns. And that's one reason, honestly, why I do like it better on the Drell Vanguard. Is because I've told you this before in other commentaries. But I'll say it again. Um, when, when it comes down to charging up a gun... I like to be able to charge my gun up and be not have to press like the R bumper. Now on the PC you won't have this problem, but on like uh, the Xbox or even the PlayStation uh, you will have this problem where it's just really awkward to press RB or whatever it is for the PlayStation as well to press that button and to charge up your gun with the trigger. It's just really awkward to me and I hate doing it. So the better way to go about it is to honestly just like, like well, that's the reason why he's good is because his pull is on the L bumper. With the Asari Justicar, what's unfortunate is that her pull is actually on, um, her pull is actually on the R bumper. So it's kind of awkward. Um, that's the biggest downside to her is that it's just pretty awkward in general. But as you can tell, I'm just wrecking though. I am just wrecking the enemies. Um, my teammates pretty much have been told, like, you know, hey guys, if you see something lifted, don't like, don't, please don't try to kill it. And they did, like, they did do me that favor and not, like, 
kill certain lifted targets. It's so I mean it's not a big deal if they if your teammates do lift your uh, kill your lifted targets. It's really not that big of a deal. It's only a big of a deal sometimes, and that's the thing. Like in the times that it is a big deal, I mean it can be a big deal. Um, a good example is that you have to have something to charge. You're going to die. You're surrounded, and then your teammate just ran up and proxy mined your lifted target, and you're like, well whatever like um, and then you die because you had nothing to charge and you're just that's just the biggest downside to him um, with the Asari Justicar you just get a lot more uh, leeway because guess what it's just what it is like uh, she's more she's actually just a lot more about um, you know she, she has a lot more defense so that's the thing uh, now phantoms can absorb the pool but it's really rare like like they that's one of their biggest weakness honestly phantoms like one of the biggest weaknesses that they have is honestly pool and i've kind of always known that i just never really like messed with pool before so uh but yeah it's just like a custom shot like phantoms cannot handle a custom shot and but once again pool and custom shot are very underused but very useful powers for doing like dealing with certain enemies like phantoms so that's really awesome now i could go over there but that would just be death for me i am not going over there i'm going to try to stay with my teammates as best as i can and i know they're about to score it so i'm going to position myself you know like i said it's all this map's all about positioning yourself on the sides of the map I went from one side of the map, which had a lot of cover, to another side of the map that also has a lot of cover. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here. That's like, I have to. These turrets, there's two turrets in this courtyard, or in this area, and they'll just, they'll literally just wreck me. Um, another thing too, guys, this gun can kill. A lot of people think this gun is just useful for shield. No, this gun can actually kill. It has a lot of damage. Um, I do believe it's about 800 damage fully charged. It's just a little bit annoying charging up. And I think if they're going to, and this is pretty much the best example of how to use your other gun. Like, only use your other gun when you absolutely have to. Um, and that's kind of like the way I go about it. Uh, and you could always use the, you can actually use the Piranha. I just didn't want to use the Piranha. I know you guys are sick of that gun. But you could use the Piranha. The weight is 185%. No joke. With the Piranha and the Alkalite, it's 185% on this Drill Vanguard. Uh, and that's really crazy and good. So, like I said, you could use um, you can use anything like that. But like I said, uh, this gun can kill. This gun can kill. It does a, it does a decent amount of damage. I mean, I've won a couple times. I don't know about in this gameplay, but when I was playing with this, I did notice that if I was to fully charge this up, and if I was to like hit, let's say, a phantom at like 70% health, it would just one hit her. It would just kill her. Like 70% health, like she would just die. Because it does like 800 damage, like I said, with the pistol amp and all that good stuff, it's going to do more damage, and it's you know it's pretty it's pretty cool. It's, it's honestly really it's actually just good for killing in general. But I mean the biggest problem is it's a charge up gun, and everybody hates charge up guns, especially me. Like I hate charge up guns. That's the only thing I don't like about the Gef Plasma Shotgun. Gef Plasma Shotgun is one of the best guns in this game, and will always be one of the best guns in this game. I just don't like charging it up. It's just that simple. I'd rather use the Rieger Carbine or the Piranha than the Gef Plasma Shotgun because I don't have to charge those guns up. And that's really, you know, that's one of the most important parts to me. Um, but I don't know. Like I said, like, the only other thing, the only thing I think that could make this gun better and make a lot of people like it, because this, honestly, the Alkalite can really be a very good secondary weapon, guys. I mean, it, it can take down the shields of, like, every enemy in its blast radius. That's very useful. That's extremely useful. It does, like I said, 3,000 damage or something like that. Or almost 3... Look at that right there. That's a good example of how much damage it can do. But, you know, it can do... Uh, and it's actually really easy to aim, too, as you can tell. Like, I'm aiming this gun really well. Um, but anyway, yeah, it can do, like, 3,000 damage to shields. So if you just busted this out as a secondary, it could definitely be pretty good. Um, that's just, like, the how I feel about it. Now let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about how to use this gun, because I really, I kind of started right there, and I, I just thought about that. I actually haven't, like, told you a lot. Um, the weirdest thing about this gun is that, yeah, it can bounce. It can actually bounce off of walls. It can bounce off of uh, the floor, and that's actually the best way to play with it, either very close range, almost point-blank range, uh, run up to them and just shoot it at the ground around them. It has a blast radius, so if you just hit the ground, you'll hit the enemy and take his whole shield down. The other thing, the other thing uh, you can do with this gun, right here I'm going to bust out my Hornet, like I said, that's the reason why I have it. 
But um, the other thing you can do with the gun is that you can bounce it like off the floor, right directly into the enemy's face, almost like the Falcon. If you know about the Falcon, like that's a very good strategy with that. Bounce it off the floor, right into the enemy's face. That's something you can do with this gun. And the other thing is that you can bounce it off of walls. And that's really cool. Like, I mean, when I was playing with this, this was, I thought, I thought this was the best gameplay I got with this gun. I really did. I think, I thought that this was definitely the best gameplay. Um, but, in other gameplays I had when I was trying to do this, uh, it was some, I had some really cool stuff. I mean, I was just randomly shooting the gun and just killing it. It was amazing. I was just like random, like just randomly, uh, an alkali bullet would just ricochet off like two or three walls and come back and just kill an enemy. I'm like, whoa, what the hell? <laughs> like, it's just it's something you would not expect to happen, but it, it was happening like crazy. Like, just a lot of random ricochets because you will miss, a, well, you won't miss a lot. This gun's actually not that hard to miss with if you can just get used to it. But a lot of times you'll accidentally shoot it, and that's, like, okay when that happens because it really does happen a lot. Right here, that's really stupid. I hate when that happens. Um, that's the same thing as that stupid op pack glitch thing where, um, like, with the Vanguard sometimes, especially with a weakling like the Drell, even though I had full shields, it didn't, like, give me any shield gating. I still died in one hit, so... It's whatever. Um, but anyway, yeah, like I said, it's just, it, this gun is fun, though, guys. It is a very fun gun to play with, and especially if you play it like this. I mean, it, this gun is an Asari gun. It is designed for doing combos. It is designed for taking down shields for powers that are... I, 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 like, I really like the idea. Now that I understand, I, I think this was the... I honestly do think that their intentions with this gun was maybe something like this to make pool somewhat effective on the harder difficulties because that's exactly what it, it, that's the best thing you can do with this gun i can't find another use for this gun outside of that besides the fact it can be a pretty useful sidearm to just bust out and start shooting at shielded enemies um and it could be really good at that as well but like i said the main thing is to um is for this right here for using pool Pool is a fun power to use. It really is. And now that it's buffed, um, I mean, they buffed the crap out of it. It's, it is just so, so amazing. Um, another thing, too, that can happen with this gun that's really cool is that, um, if you don't know, as you charge a lot, as you charge, uh, sometimes you'll accidentally fire. Sometimes you won't. Sometimes you will. Or it will literally force fire. Uh, what's really cool is that if you're aiming directly at the enemy as you do it, it will fire at the enemy, hit them, take their shield down, and by the time you connect, the, by the time you actually connect with your charge, yeah, they're going to be on the ground, knocked down, and then you can just go ahead and shoot them again and kill them or pull them up or do whatever you want to do to them to uh, finish them off. So that's a couple things that's really cool about this um, Really cool about this gun. Like I said, there's just a lot of randomness. It's a, it's a lot of random fun. That's the thing. It's a lot of random fun. Sometimes you'll shoot it by accident and it will ricochet off of like two or three walls and come back and hit an enemy randomly and get you a kill. Um, other times, other times it will do what I just told you. So it just does a lot of really random stuff and it's just kind of comical in a lot of ways. <laughs> it's a little gimmicky, but it's also like really funny and it's awesome. And this whole cryo explosion thing I'm doing, it's really cool. And like I said, you can do the same thing with fire explosions as well with incinerary ammo. Um, but I think a lot of you guys love cryo ammo. I am not a big fan of cryo ammo. I have never liked cryo ammo like in this game. Um, I just don't know why. I'm just not a big fan of it. But with this, I am a fan of it cuz it, it is extremely useful. Um, any and right here, I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna rock it because there's just so much shit. Um, turrets is my enemy. Fuck those turrets. I do not want to fuck with them. But um, yeah, any um, any AO, AOE attack like or with a weapon that has AOE, yeah, crowd ammo is definitely amazing. Uh, it really is. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, but the main thing about this, the main thing about this that I really love the most out of everything else is just the ability to deal with phantoms like this. Like, to, to take out a phantom like this is not only just, for one, really easy, but also really, really cool. It's just cool to do. It's cool to do, and your teammates, if they see you doing it, they'll, they'll be like, oh, wow, this guy, you, you make this gun look good. At least I know I have made this gun look good, I hope. Uh, but if you can play like this, which is not hard, this is not a hard way to play. If you can play like this, you will show a lot of randoms out there 
and a lot of people that know this gun is good. I think about 99% of the community right now thinks the Alkalite pistol is the biggest piece of shit in the game. Because um, everybody I've talked to has told me that. Every single body. Now, I'm going to give some credit out real quick. Now, my buddy is sitting. You may know him. He's a clan leader, all that good stuff. He's been in a lot of these gameplays. He actually was the one who brought this up to me. He said, um, have you ever thought about using pool and the Alkalite pistol? And I was like, hmm, okay, that's pretty cool. He was talk he was suggesting maybe the drill adapt for it. And I was like, no, 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 no. A sorry Jessica car would be better, duration's better, blah, 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 blah. And then after a while, I thought about uh, playing the drill like this or the Vanguard like this. Because like when I first ever made the drill Vanguard back way back in the demo and I was still somewhat of a build a building noob, I went I didn't go for cluster nades. I went for pool and I went for charge because I knew that's exactly what I could do I knew I could do my own explosions like that uh, and back then I used to play a lot of silver and a little bit of bronze because I just started playing the demo so that's what I went for and a lot of people would say oh that's really smart really cool but you know once you get used to gold you just knew that yeah I just knew immediately that that which would not work the cluster nades were definitely the better way to go for him and the drill vanguard in general is just I think you guys may know very underused, very underappreciated. He's just so flimsy for a Vanguard. It's the biggest downside. Now, this is fun, but in general, he's just not that good compared to other ones. Right here, this is going to be pretty cool. Um, I, lo I love the way this gun fires. I really do. Um, oh, yeah, and also, if they ever do absorb your... Um, if a Phantom ever does absorb your pool... Just charge this gun up and shoot her in the face, and she'll get wrecked. It's just that simple. Um, I hope you've pretty much seen that right there. But, yeah, that's exactly what you want to do with this. Um, so just try to keep that in mind. All right. So right here, we're just going to jump this Atlas. I believe this might be the last enemy, or there might be, like, two Atlases. Don't really know. Um, yeah, there's two Atlases, but these are pretty much the last enemies. Now, this gun can take down bosses' shields pretty quickly, honestly. Like, it takes about two to three bars down each uh, each time you fire it. But, I don't know. Like, it just, it takes it takes a while. Like, it honestly, a Harrier would take it down faster. A Rieger Carbine will totally take it down faster. And uh, the Piranha would. A lot of guns in the game can beat it out for taking down those shields just because it's so, it's fire rate. The Alkalite's fire rate is just so low. Now right here, um, I was looking to see if I can take a, my last rocket just to get maybe a good one. And I, I seen something. It looked good, but I don't know what was going on this night. But the rockets were just failing. I, I don't know was it wasn't mine, but it, just, it felt like everybody's rockets I was playing were right here. I couldn't charge, and I'm going to get obliterated because of that. That's the worst thing that can happen to you when you can't charge and you need to charge. It's just that simple, guys. And that's the biggest problem with things like Expose on Pool. Is that people will steal your kill and you're just like, well, now I'm screwed. I'm literally screwed because I can't charge nothing and I'm going to die. Um, it just happens way too much, but it's just what it is. I mean, I don't know. All right, guys. I, you know, Obviously, guys, like I said, I do not, please, I do not have the particle rifle. Hopefully soon I will get it. I will definitely come up with some videos about it when I do. Same with the Typhoon. I don't have that. Those are the only two guns in the game I don't have. And, of course, read the description, guys. Please read the description. I will put list every gun I have done for this series in the description. It's very important. Otherwise, you guys might vote for the things I've done in the past. Um, and, you know, you could just go watch those videos because I've already done them. So definitely read the description. And also, please leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Um, I'm really glad I was able to do this with the Alkalite just because, like I said, I just feel like everyone has hated on this gun so much. I mean, everyone, including myself, and I, I feel so bad about it because I never even gave it a chance. I never even, like, tried it, and, um, you know, that's just what it was. So, all right, right here we're going to make our way to the LZ. My, um, my buddy is going to actually get, like, knocked down. He had no meta gel, so there's no way he can get up. There was no point to even try to get him up. There was no way he was going to get up and get in the LZ. So we're not going to get full extraction, but it's really whatever. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Like I said, definitely try this out. Remember, you can do the the um, DPS version with the incinerary ammo, which is really good, and the lift damage. And also, if you want to see the sorry Justicar version of this, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know. But besides that, guys, please have a nice day.